So hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is V. For today's video, I am going to be talking about rejection from Oxford and Cambridge and in life. Um, I woke up to some Instagram messages today from a lot of you guys which shocked me within itself. Number one, a lot of you who got accepted into Oxford or Cambridge um, were really, really happy and were saying thank you V, like you really, really helped me and stuff. And then a lot of you who didn't get in were messaging me just saying V, like I'm not feeling the greatest and all that kind of stuff. Number one, for those of you that got in I think it's absolutely incredible congratulations to you I'm so so proud of you and I have played the small like literally the smallest smallest part in your journey this is all you you did this it was your hard work your motivation your courage to apply all that kind of stuff it's all on you so congratulations but thank you so much for letting me know and letting me be a part of your journey for those of you who were rejected that this is what inspired me to make the video i got a message from a girl and she was like my life is over like i've disappointed my parents this is it now like what am i supposed to do this was my dream for so so long and i just feel like i've disappointed myself and the people around me it broke my heart reading that message broke my heart and then receiving similar messages after that hence why i'm making this video first of all on this channel you guys know i'm all about a positive mindset and the first thing that i always preach and i'll continue to preach is that rejection is redirection first of all the word rejection doesn't really exist on my channel like I don't really like that term but if we're gonna use it rejection is redirection because you don't know what's to come you have done an incredible job look at how far you've come the courage to apply so many of us don't end up applying because we don't have encouragement from our teachers we don't have the support of our parents we don't have the resources and we just don't know enough about the Oxbridge application process to apply so the fact that you even got this far in applying getting an interview this is massive but i understand when you're in that situation you feel like the end goal was to get that offer and to not get it is heartbreaking you feel like it's the end of the world but you're forgetting just how many steps you've taken to get to this point and for many students on this channel that watch this channel that benefit from this channel our backgrounds mean that this kind of stuff it's you've done an amazing like do you understand how many obstacles were in your way for you to have gotten to this point phenomenal and i get it though i do understand like i can't sit here while i'm a student at oxford and preach oh rejection is redirection it's all gonna be okay when i got in here it's like oh v shut up of course you're gonna say that but i really really mean it and i always always use the anecdote of um myself because i can only speak from experience and when I was applying for university, my heart was set on either getting into Oxford or Exeter and I really wanted to get those three A's and I was like, this is what I want to get, like three A's. I was on track to get those three A's and then on results day, I opened that results letter and it said three B's and in that moment, I was like, it's all done. Like, it's all over. My family, literally the whole of Zimbabwe, my church, everybody had eyes on me and I have just let them all down. Like, this is not going to work out. I am so... I was just like, three Bs is just not... It wasn't ideal for me at that time because my offer for Exeter was like A star AA. Oxford one is something like AAA or AAB or something. And I was like, yep. Yeah is over but then I ended up doing this incredible foundation year at the University of Oxford which I never thought was in my path or something that I would ever do in my life and I did this amazing foundation year and then things just worked out so so different and getting those B's was the best thing that ever happened to me and if you guys are active on YouTube you all know about my friend I'm not going to mention her name but you know who I'm talking about and she is one of the smartest most hard-working people that I know got three A stars I think she was top tier of the A stars like just in incredibly intelligent right she didn't get into Oxford she was so upset she thought oh my god what am I gonna do what's gonna happen and the turnaround she went on this amazing gap year, travelled the world, got to meet people that are now in her life forever. Her entire mindset completely changed. She saw cultures, learned languages, lived with people that are now her family for life in her heart and had the most amazing of experiences and then ended up getting into a university that was made for her. Like, it is absolutely made for her because that is exactly who she is, like the idea of learning in different places in the world, traveling, understanding life and having to like put yourself in other people's shoes, 
that is Jade all over. And she, her story for me is the, one of the most powerful because she really, really wanted to go to Oxford at that time. And when she didn't get in, I think she just thought, what am I going to do? And then the way, that redirection, that's why I say reject, it's not rejection because it's in quotation marks, rejection is just simply, it's re I can't even explain it. And it's just like, I know it sounds so cliche, the whole idea of one door closing and another one opening, but think about it. You can only walk through one door at a time, right? So if you're walking into this plan here, you're walking into Oxford, right? That's brilliant, fantastic, I'm proud of you, congratulations. You do it and you do it well, right? But then there are all these other doors that you probably wouldn't have explored because you're doing Oxford. But then when you don't get into Oxford, now all of these other doors are open and anything's a possibility. And you don't know what you don't know until you know what you didn't know. Like as in with iPhones, for example. When I had the iPhone 6, I was so happy. I had, I could open it with my fingerprint. I could go on the thing. It was perfect. Then they brought out this iPhone XR. And now I can open it with my face. And I'm like, I didn't even know I needed this until I had it, you know? So when you have that rejection and you're about to enter all these different doors, you don't even know what you wanted until it's there. So now you're about to meet a world of possibilities. And I just didn't want to come here and sound cliche or sound annoying about it. But honestly, the reason why you were rejected you don't even understand it or know it. It's probably bigger than you. And you have to remember that so many incredible people apply, thousands and thousands. So you not getting in is not a reflection of you per se. It's just that you were in a competition with other people who were also equally as amazing as you are. And doesn't mean that you're not deserving. It just means that they may have run out of space. Do you know what I mean? Does it mean that it's you? It's just they didn't have enough space or that there's a reasonable explanation to it but it's not you like you are not defined by Oxbridge and your life is not gonna now all of a sudden be terrible because you didn't get into Oxbridge it's not the be all and end all it's not an indicator of success I know so many people who've gone on to do amazing things have changed the world have changed the game have become leading artists future leaders politicians all this kind of stuff in their field without Oxbridge yes with Oxbridge it makes things slightly easier or it, it helps you in a way but with other things they give you other skills that Oxbridge can't give you you know like with everything that's good and bad and I feel like getting in is amazing and not getting in is also amazing and that's my point like I don't I don't want you guys to kind of base your future on this because this is just a moment in your journey a small moment in your journey to being amazing and yeah I just I just it just hurt my heart when I saw those messages I was like no I, don't, I can't have that. I can't have someone feeling like their life is all of a sudden like over because of this moment. But equally, you are allowed to stew in this moment for a second. You are allowed to feel your feelings. Like it's okay for you to feel a little bit sad or to feel whatever you're feeling. Feel it. Let yourself feel it. If you want to cry, cry. If you want to feel it because you have to acknowledge how you feel and of course it's a dream that you had and for it to be taken away I understand that like I completely understand it so feel it but don't wallow in it don't don't let that define you don't let that be like the make or break of you you know like just feel it and we, we, we move on we think of plan the next plan it's not plan b because it doesn't mean that it's the second best it's just a new plan so yeah, I just, I know, like, I, I, I do understand it's annoying to hear people try to be positive when you're feeling sad. You want to feel sad? Be sad, you know, but not for too long. And don't let this become you. Don't be the person who's like, oh, I was rejected, I was rejected. No, you were redirected, okay? And any signs of failure, I hate that word as well, rejection and failure, ugh, they don't exist in my vocabulary. But failure is just another chance to try again. So now you have another chance to explore new options, new... And I think any moment that I don't get something that I need, it makes me, like, refocus and, like, think bigger and better. I'm like, okay, that didn't work out, but let me readjust and, like, what's next, you know? So... Congratulations to all of you who got in and congratulations to all of you who didn't get in because you still got so far and you're going to do amazing. And I, 
I need to stop talking but I feel it because I feel like you guys are like my younger siblings and I want to be there for you and this is a moment that it's not all happy who are yeah yeah go lucky like this is a moment and we had to have this chat so I love you guys please message me I'm replying to every single person who's messaging me about these Oxbridge things I am here for you guys and yeah I hope you guys are okay and if you don't feel okay it's okay to not be okay like feel it talk about it get it out and then then we'll move on so if you want to talk about it with me I'm happy to um take your messages comments anything comment down below message me on instagram whatever it is just let me know and just so you guys know as well i'm applying for some stuff right now that i i'm not feeling so confident about and when that moment comes when i hear yes or no i'm gonna talk to you guys about it and we're gonna just be as open and honest as we can be so um hopefully someone is here to give me this talk when my time comes um but yeah i love you guys so much congratulations either way you know how i feel i'm proud of you regardless of what's happened these things don't define you and you're gonna do phenomenal in this life love you so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye